Hello everyone, hope you're doing well today, and welcome back to the channel. And today we'll be reviewing the APC's Toys Zero Two Attack Prime, aka a third party release of the TFP Optimus Prime. Now, a bit of background on this figure. So, this is just a re release of the 2000, I think it was 11 mold for the first edition Optimus Prime for from the Transformers Prime cartoon show. Now, there's this company called APC Toys that took these molds, or at least a few of them so far, gave them a new paint job, modified a few joints, a few things in the bot mode, gave them a whole lot of accessories, and released them to the market. And this is just the version of the Optimus Prime, and it's amazing. It's amazing. But getting into the combo real quick, sorry, Chuck mode real quick and see that this. First of all, it's just a beautiful, shiny, chrome grill. Just so like it looks, makes everything just pop. Obviously, not all about logo, but I'm sure if you have a tiny stick and some tweezers, you can fix that up easily enough. You see, coming down to the uh, grill section, I'm not sure about grill. Uh, engine, I guess you could call it. And just uh, engine section, you can see, can very accurate to the TFP with some that more shiny silver and chrome wheels. Looks very nice. Um, what that is, you? Sorry, some. This is very nice, very screen accurate. Um, one thing now about this little uh, top picture here, for a reason, he just does not want to tab in. It never does that. So no, it's just in the wrong transformation, but just no, no just no. Normally, it tabs in perfectly fine. Come down to the uh, cab, so it's not a cab, the trailer section, and I mean, it's pretty, it's cleaner than most Optimus Prime trailers today. I'll say that. But yeah, it's very nice, very screen accurate. Um, bottom of the figure, you know. It's it's fine, nothing too cable heavy. I mean, obviously I have these legs here, but it's nothing to really be upset about. So I think that the view come out overall just looks fantastic. Okay, so straight space on this figure. Um, it can be a bit scary sometimes just because of how tight the actual joints are and how thin the pegs are, but definitely nothing to be overly concerned about. And it's still fun to do as long as you just take your time and be careful with it. But take a look at this guy in spot mode and just, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, he is just the spitting image of Optimus Prime from that TFP cartoon and oof I when I got the guy the packaging I was just knowing that so much was incredible but take a look some the deal you can see the head scope on the guy is just eh, dead on just again just a spitting image of that TFP head scope looks amazing 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 now again with the awful head sculpt you do get a math godless face so you can just if we do what you do you can swap us out for that math god Mouth guarded face plate, power cap with the mouth guard on. Just see how it might look on the body if you really want to switch it out. That's fine with me. But again, you can see from the level of detail like painting, you can see there's a lot of silver and chrome on this guy. It looks amazing. Come to this uh, chest, you can see again lots of, lots of dark silver. Looks beautiful. Come to the arms, again, some chrome, some silver. Looks very nice, very accurate to the show. Come on these thighs. Just, oh my gosh, lovely silver with some blue highlights here and there. Looks Absolutely gorgeous. And come to the feet, you can see again, cast and silver. Side profile of the figure. Um, it has a bit of back cable, but really it's not too much of a problem it's because, it, you know, it's fairly accurate how looking at TFP, so I'm not too bothered by it. But, to, for, but taking a look at the articulation, you can see that the hairs on my ball joints, so you can go full 360 around. You can go up that far, down that far. I'm just going to go full 360 around. This shoulder pack moves out in order for the arm to move out that far. You get a bicep swivel, of course, as well as a bend of the elbow, which goes a bit of a line degrees of bend. And technically, if you do want to, you can technically untransform it to get butterfly joints. So, yeah, that if you really want to have it, maybe for us, like, keep that tab in, make it a little bit more uniform. You get a wrist swivel, which is a bit tight, but still fine. A, yeah, very tight <clears throat> wrist swivel. Let's can go out that fall, then go back that fall. Do get a Splits at the front. Wait, is that do your full splits? I actually never know what's this missing. Uh, yes. Oh no, sorry, does not do full splits, but hey, you get enough out of it. A swivel just below the knee, a nine degrees of bend of the knee, as well as a oh, don't come on tab, as well as a pivot and forwards and a bit of backwards. So I think this figure is very nice to take a look, especially for its time. Remember, this is just a re release of that original TFP mold. This came out in what? 2011, I think it was. Well, this is a what my now, yeah, 10 year old mold, and it still has almost all the points of modern articulation. It's just mwah, beautiful. Alrighty, so let's talk accessories. So he does come with quite a few of them, so I'll go from biggest to smallest. First of which being his Star Sable. You can see just again, it looks amazing. Spitting image of it from the TFP show, and you see how this entire blade piece is cast in a clear blue plastic. It's a very nice effect. You can see 
similar to the detailing, get quick uh, skim down to be quick to some lovely modern detailing with some gold sprinkled out on the silver handle. Looks very nice. So you get oh, too far, too far. You do get that. You do get, you know, his blaster cannons. You can see very nice sculpting, very accurate to the show, a bit hollow, but it's fine. Cast and silver. Only thing that I don't like is um, if you know that there are two runs of this figure, one has the kind of copper on the end to give it that very really fired effect, and other has that an Amazon blue effect on the end. I would prefer the Amazon blue one, but hey, I think what I can get. So, of course, do you get two of those. Exact same mold, exact same thing. Throw it down there. Okay, you get both of his, oh, there you go, there you go. Both of his hand blades, you can see. Again, casting that lovely blue clear plastic with some silver painted on it to make it look very nice, very screen accurate. Again, very nice. Again, a bit hollow, but I don't really care at all. Um, we're going to get two of them, so you can have them dual wielding if you do wish to have it. I think it looks very cool. Like I said, well, you do get, of course, the ultimate head sculpt with the figure. Okay, you can take a look at that again. You can see, there's one amazing fine detailing on it. There we go. Let's see. Very nice, very screen accurate. You know, and finally, you do get where to go. Okay, see, you, you do get a hilt for the star saber. And how you just have this, you can just tap this little peg right here, come to the back of the figure. You can see, you zoom in this little slot right there. You just plug this in, like so. Tap it in like that. Get the star saber, plug it in there, of course. And now you have them. Have the star saber on his back, which is a nice look, very nice. It's a bit long for my, my taste, but still gets a very nice look. And of course, you can give him all those accessories. You can move blade if you want to. Come here. Yeah, that. Again, have to have him do a wield if you wish. This blasters. Like that. Like said, oil. And you can, of course, give him his ultimate head sculpt. So I think it, with all these accessories, there's definitely a lot of options for posing with this guy, which I absolutely love. Okay, so one thing to note before we move on, um, if you look at this piece right here, this little hill, to happen with force of this breaking, just because of how uh, thin the plastic is, kind of, kind, of, kind of flexible, and just how tight this port can be, so I would recommend either keeping this out or putting it in, just so you don't have to keep constantly putting out, putting it in, or she might cause breakage, it's just a little warning right there. For some comparisons, here is with the Planet X Pluto, you can see he's just, okay, just stand just a bit smaller than Pluto. Just because I want to show up to you, I don't know why I just want to. And here he is with the Studio Series Optimus Prime. You can see that he is just a bit bigger than modern Voyager class scale, but still in that general Voyager class scale. So there you go. So yeah, there you go, guys. That was my review for the APC's Toys version 2 Attack Prime. And I will make no secret hides. I absolutely adore this figure. Yes, it's a very old mold and it most cylinders have its issues, but I'm just blinded by nostalgia by the good the figure looks, how much it poses, the accessories, it's just, it's, it's overall, it's just a fantastic release, comes with everything it needs to, the paint job is sublime, articulation, while I always ask for a few more joints, it's nothing that I used to complain about, the alt mode looks fantastic, the chrome really looks everything pop, transformation is fun, while a bit risky in some areas, it's nothing too concerning. Now, unfortunately, available availability with this guy is not great. You see, he the first version of this guy was released, I think, mid to late 2019, I believe. So it is a bit hard to get a hand on this guy. I'm lucky to get a hand on this one, although I'm still missing an APC stock master. So again, availability on this guy is slightly scarce. So go finding him. But like I said, thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you all next one. Bye guys, have a good day.